Hello again, we're back with some more Canadian Highlander. Uh, James is joining us again, so hi James. Hey Kieran, thanks for having me. <laughs> Kieran? <laughs> Kieran? Oh god, I can see his name, he's already in my brain. Oh god. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, I'm Nathan, nice to meet yeah. you James. I was aware of that, I'm good at this, honestly. <laughs> um, so today we have Kieran playing against Hazel. <laughs> Uh, Kieran's playing his Jeskai control deck, uh, but there is a little bit of a change since we last saw it in that black has been introduced. Having said that, um, we are just using Ancestral Recall, Treasure, Treasure Cruise, and Mystical Tutor for the pointed cards. Uh, it's just a control shell, basically, right? Like, what's what are the, what are the advantages of adding black into a control deck like this? Some uh, really high power cards. Okay, it's just <laughs> it's just Pro giving masters, you access to more stuff, cards. right? Yeah. Yeah, those types of elbow tricks, just more, more, more better things. Okay, fair enough. Um, what about Hazel? What's what's she doing today? So Hazel's on depth, as she, as she pretty much always is. But there's some changes to her deck this week as well. The the white is massively diminished. Just um, just a knight of the reliquary now. Um, and <laughs> probably still. So, so obviously just obviously super focused in on the ways to get the combo out so knight is still a good one and she just wanted to make a mana a bit better and it's also allowed some more spicy includes you know we've got some new cards like metamorphosis fanatic from dust Morn, the black overlord and you know there's there's a second there's mutated cultist i think from modern horizons 3 commander which is yet another vampire hex mage ways to cheat cows off things so just to like made the mana a bit better um, which is kind of important when you've got so many utility lands that might not always tap for the kinds of mana you want, as Hazel has. So it might make it a bit smoother for her. But the but the focus is still to go for a Dark Depths combo. Yes, and she her point spread is pretty much the same. I think it's still Demite Tutor, Mox Emerald, Strip Mine. I believe Natural Order and Imperial Seal yep. are there before as well, but that's the full round out of the turn. Cool. And we're going straight into the game. And there's, there's a great example of a bit of a new spicy include from Hazel to start with. This is a nice little witch, Witch's Cottage um, from your, the common land cycle where basically Mystic Sanctuary is amazing and <laughs> Dwarven Mine is great if you're playing uh, modern. <laughs> but <laughs> don't yep. often see much of Witch's Cottage. Uh, but it's got some really nice synergy with Metamorphosis Fanatic as a miracle card. Just popping it back on top of the library and yeah, then nice. getting the cheap, cheap reanimate and stuff like that. So. Fun. Already, always always like to see cards that uh, aren't just auto includes into in every deck that are, are those colours, right? Yes, exactly. So there's there's definitely some like fun additions, um, like and a lot of kind of a lot of cards from you sets. I mean, Altenak is in here, uh, and you definitely can't say its name three times in a singleton <laughs> format. So there's there's heavy commitment to some themes from from Hazel certainly. Does Altenac just go and get a basic? With its... uh, it, it reanimates a land from the bin, so right. it's a way to get back. You know, if the depths combo doesn't work the first time, obviously you have to sack it as part of it, so Altenac can get the depths back. Okay. Yeah, or maybe so someone's it's... just wastelanded something. So. It's kind of like hidden redundancy for when they've dealt with your combo. Yeah, that's cool. And every now and then you just need a 9-9 Trampler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a card. Yeah, this is one that anyone who plays standard will be very familiar with. Yeah. I feel like it, I feel like every time I see any of it, and yeah, yeah, Kieran doesn't Kieran, want any of that. Kieran, Kieran's winched about this card to me enough times that I'm not surprised that he's just fired off the counter spell. Yeah, I mean, there's a reasonable chance it's probably just going to take the counter spell anyway. I guess so. <laughs> be safe. This is an interesting one, obviously. With adding black, there is more scary threats. Like I've already talked about, you know. Uh, Psychic Frog, Bowmasters, um, Baragoyf is an absurd card. Like so, there's just okay. more scary yeah. things just to back it up with. There's, there's, I don't think there's gonna be too much extra from Kieran's deck. Like outside of just a few better threats and the good old value reanimate. Everyone loves a value reanimate. <laughs> yes, I suppose it's gonna be. Oh, what's this? Uh, this is Life Death. On the death side, I would imagine, which is just reanimate, but it costs one more mana. <laughs> And oh yeah, the man you lose life as well. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so it's the same. Um, so Hayes will be going down to 18 here. Oh, it does. Yeah, sorry, I'm just my thing's dying. So not stifled the ability. No, stifled the ability. Yeah, so we've, we have, we have lost the life. Good. It's important. I don't think I've ever seen anyone cast life 
<laughs> so this is basically just a second reanimate. It's just death. Yep. And then there's Stifle, which is, I think, rapidly becoming almost an auto include in control decks at this stage. Yeah, it's pretty much all blue decks things. want the Stifle. Yeah, I, I bit the bullet and ordered ordered one last week for my control deck as well. I just you can't pretend anymore that it doesn't become as, it's just not essential. So, and the green source as well, Hazel is key. I was a little worried that yep. Mana was not being great to her. I think, I think she missed a land drop last turn. I oh, know it was wasteland, so she didn't miss a land drop. Just wasted a land drop. Yes, exactly. In many ways. <laughs> Invasion of. Icoria, Icoria that would be yes, yeah. It's a it's a it's a nice combo. You can do that for two. Get Vampire Hex Mage immediately. Sacrifice Hex Mage to remove all the counters from the battle and flip it to the other side, as well as just being a way to tutor creatures. So That's fun. Invasion of Icoria has some cool extra bits of synergy just for Hazel's deck. <laughs> Thought sees <laughs> respond with an ancestral recall. Yes, because I'm yeah pretty confident that that would have been the one Hazel yep. would take. Mm -hmm. in pretty much every scenario. So, <laughs> and also here's some more options for you. Yeah, and the black cards really on show here. Some hand attack, better threats, and like we said, the value reanimate. So. Ooh, shutting down Hazel's tutoring's gonna be pretty nasty. Yes, it, dep it depends on her hand. I would probably. Suggest opposition agent or inquisition would be the two choices here, depending on what she wants to protect. Um, like she can just go for a, a mid-range plan as well if the combo doesn't work. And yeah, really has something in her hand that is not coming down this turn. Wants to wants to protect her hand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of value on the reanimate at this stage. Tidebinder not great as a sorcery speed threat. <laughs> nope. Yes, the, 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 the non stop grinding of the life from a yep. deep cavern bat. And like I said, bats. Kira knows full well what this card does. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those cards that I swear every time I try and play it, it's rubbish because they just kill it immediately. And every oh. time it's played against me, I never have the answer. It's a real house in standard, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I suppose that makes more of a difference when you have four of them as well, because you can pick apart a hand. Yep. Much simpler. I do yeah, remember just... having, what was it, the Kite Sail Freebooter was also a, a pretty strong card. Oh, yeah, from original Ixalan. Yeah. Yes, I do. I remember having a blue black pirate stack back when I still played standard at one point. Um, that was fun. Yeah, I, I, I had something similar with Hostage Takers. Yep. Kind of sell free booters. I was I was actually making comp copies of my hostage takers with like quasar duplicates and stuff like that. <laughs> I had a you're, great time. You're a monster. You're an absolute monster. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, a safekeeper and an opposition agent coming in. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> smartly, Hazel has decided to fetch while opposition opposition agent is on the stack. Yeah, it's always an interesting one. It becomes it becomes less less so when your opponent knows about opposition agent. It's very it's easy. To, it might not always be easy. Depends on your your land situation. But like once you know about this type of card, you can usually play around it. So Kieran just decided I'm just gonna chuck out a three two flash. I want some pressure. I want yeah, to get the, I want to start doing something. Kieran doesn't want to be holding up three mana just in case Hazel tries to go for a a tutor. Right. No, it is, and it's always interesting against kind of the mid-range combo decks because you can be holding up opposition agent forever if you think it's beneficial, but then if you're not using the mana, yeah, you know, what, what have you done for the turn? Yeah, usually nothing. So. Looks like an instant speed response to something here as well from Hazel. Also, Kieran's card advantage from ancestral recalls just bonkers. Like, card yes. just feels well. There's a reason why it's known as a stupid card and is the is it the highest pointed card yes eight yeah. is the most even more than lotus at seven so and time walks down to six now so it's everyone's own 100 percent agreement that recall is busted <laughs> <laughs> seems pretty fair when there's so many ways to get it back and loop it and do very powerful things oh yeah let's hope that doesn't happen for hazel's sake yeah, it's always a second recall that kills you. <laughs> <laughs> you can recover from one. It's, that's the case for a lot of cards in Canada. You can recover from a track or entering the battlefield once. It's pretty hard to do it twice. Right. <laughs> I felt like that in Limited the other day. I was playing against a streamer, um, and they played an Altanac 
reanimated it twice, and I was like, okay, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think I'm coming back from this. <laughs> yes, yeah, especially in limited when you have even less efficient, no source of power shares very often. Yeah, yeah, like I could remove it twice. They got a card from it both times, and then <laughs> the, <laughs> third, the third time was the one that killed me. <laughs> Bowmass is obviously a good draw against Kieran, though. Um, you've already seen Recall, still Vision's in the bin. Um, so it can be one of those super powerful cards to kind of, that can hose control decks, but yeah. not seen much from Hazel that is either here is a combo or here is a lot of pressure. It's basically just chipping in for one with a bat. Um, over a long term, that is probably going to favor Kieran. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, just good solid counter. Just Jesco Black is a bit of a misnomer because in a way you almost feel like it's Jesco and we've just tacked on some black. But you can see there's a real density of black cards there really that is. Kieran's drawing and playing. Um, and they're effective and they too. Are... Yeah, Cling to Dust is a really powerful one. Um, this was also an just... important card in Standard. I think people were playing these in main decks um, at one point just because of yes. all of the escape stuff going on in this set. Yeah, it was a, it was graveyard heavy set, wasn't it? Staros, and it was was it maybe like not too far after some of the Ravnica? Or what? I can't. It's it's hard. To, standard standard sets from like five years ago. <laughs> when in my head they were only like a year ago. <laughs> yeah. I'm just getting old, and it's terrifying. It was mainly the Titans. They took over standard. Yeah, yeah. Still pretty good magic cards nowadays. This is an interesting the ones attack. That... Does imply oh. something's happening here. There's, there's one ones being thrown into three twos. Yeah, and understandably, Kieran's going. Yeah, yes, I'd like an opportunity to kill the bowmasters. Yeah. Ooh. Unless this is just a you've got terminus. Let's get as much damage in before you terminus me. Which it may well be because that wasn't. But, but wouldn't you want to just make Kieran play the terminus? I don't know. Because now it doesn't it's... feel like he needs to cast it no i would agree and that's that's a tough spot i think here's in she doesn't have a lot of pressure can't quite see her hands glare on them here um she doesn't have a lot of pressure so there's not really any reason to, to tap out the six mana for a sorcery terminus mm. um there's and there's, may, there's maybe value you know this you, you could reanimate a bow masses and try and pop off a bat it'll probably just kill a land based on safety civil safety for being there but like that ad does add extra lines. It does. It seems an interesting play. Um, yeah, because well, yeah. with Kieran being down to nine, um, Bowmasters kind of stops a lot of the shenanigans that Kieran wants to be doing right now. Um, yeah, the second recall into a Bowmasters does yeah, not look great. Exactly. Yeah. Like like you said, that's such a winning line that Kieran will probably be trying to make it happen. Galvanic discharge is in this deck. Yeah, that's it's. It's basically second lightning bolt that doesn't go face. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's, you know, everyone always, bolt and chain lightning are almost also includes in red. Well, it's certainly in red control decks, but in a lot of, in a lot of red decks. Um, and flame slash is sorcery speed, but deals four damage only to creatures. Whereas discharge, I think it does planeswalkers too, if I remember rightly, but it's obviously it's capped at, it's basically capped at three because yep. it's pretty hard to play into energy synergies. It's, you're not always going to be Guide of Soulsing into Amp Raptoring into either hubs in this format. Well, so. I was thinking for a for a like Jeskai, I guess Jeskai Black Control deck. Are we are we wanting that density of bolts? But you probably are because the majority of your threats in this format are going to be little little dudes. <laughs> yeah, it's a <laughs> well. There's a second whistle. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of it's obviously a very efficient format, um, which does in general. You know, the early turns matter. If you can't kill a turn one Ragavan, if you get caught under a hull breacher in a control deck or under bone masses or something, like those cheap things do matter. Yeah. But there is still some element of Murktide Regent is still basically a two mana threat. It just happens to be like a nine nine, yeah. whatever the heck it is. Can't bolt that. Um, yeah. So there's 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 some balance of it, but Kieran still has access to white. He, there's almost certainly a source of plowshares in here if I just double check the deck list. I'd be surprised if there wasn't things like Prismatic Ending as well. Um, you know, March of Otherworldly Light. So there is like a lot of removal for those things, although March obviously not great against Merktide. Um, 
but there's a lot of power in what control decks can do, especially the kind of more modern control deck that plays to the board with with scary threats like Opposition Agent, Dreadhold Arcanist. Um, so just getting that enough of those removal spells. There's a Fatal Push as well, we're just going to keep mm. churning Spe through them. Speaking of and efficient even, removal spells. Yeah. And if this is one mana instant speed, oh. you know, waste, wasteland you, then that's still pretty strong. And I... Hazel hasn't really made a play for like two or three turns, and that's not a good spot yeah, to be. It's looking rough. I'm wondering whether this opposition agent is really a problem. Yeah, you would suspect so. Just it's not like she's lacking for cards. Plenty of cards in hand, and still has a reasonable amount of mana. And here is the dreaded second recall. We said this one was the one that killed us, right? Yeah, usually. <laughs> I still love the wording on the original one. Or force an opponent to draw three cards. Yep. It, it makes it sound like a real bad thing, right? Yeah. Make force them to do something. Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> I, I I still always think it's funny when people say I'm going to target myself with my ancestral recall. But yeah, fair enough. Right, what have we got? Oh, that's a natural order and a prime time. Okay. So um, we were right. <laughs> yeah, but opposition agent doing a lot of work there. Obviously not at the manor yet for prime time, but. Natural order being held back. It's like it's two green sources. Yeah, it's an overgrown tomb in the mortuary. So it was online, with, but for an opposition agent. So again, Kieran kind of being rewarded. You didn't see the immediate value of, you know, a couple of weeks ago I had an opposition agent. I cast opposition agent into into my opponent's gifts ungiven. So just exile four cards in the library, which obviously yep. you feel like an absolute king when you're doing that. But here. Although Kieran doesn't have the Im immediate like you know the serotonin hit of ha, I steal your <laughs> yes. card. It's yeah. done so much work in this game just being there. It's held back two one ones. It's prevented the you know the 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 casting of a really powerful pointed card like Natural Order, and it's just kept him ticking at a reasonable life total. <laughs> Let him draw to this Arcanist. This Arcanist is going to get even more valued as hand attack. There's a Serum Visions in the graveyard, I think. So, oh, this is this fire. Two so two mana. <laughs> Destroy a land and a creature. That's pretty yes. good. <laughs> yes. Um, and it, it's start. This is starting to turn into a bit of a hole for Hazel to try and dig out of. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Even this thing that's good for, for that wants a tutor. You're not allowed that. I'm just going to control you, and you'll never have anything. Yeah. Um, but this definitely feels like it's rapidly. The train is leaving the station. The, this this there's... game seems over. Yeah. Hazel's sacked too many lands and can't play too many cards from hand. And it, yeah, I say it's it. There's your prismatic it, ending. Think, oh no, it's not. That's, it's that's express the situation. situation. Yeah. <laughs> what are the other slightly hard to read borderless cards? I, I can't complain. I've got nothing borderless cards. There's Barracord. This this does not read like an absurd card, but it is an absurd card. It is. Ridiculous. So we've exiled that with the iteration. Okay, now we yeah. cast it. What does this do then? Oh, it's Death Touch and Lifelink. Wow. Uh, so it's got Tarmogoyf, Power and Toughness. Yeah. And has Death Touch and Lifelink. And mills you and gets creatures back when it deals damage. What? Yeah. <laughs> it is ridiculous. It's, and it doesn't do anything broken, really. It's just so well statted. For the mana cost and the power level of the card, it's just and the journey. We're just we're just going with you know, here's Modern Horizons busted cards now apparently. Yeah, we've we've kind of alluded to it, but um, I and I think we've spoken about it in previous games as well that these control decks don't necessarily look like control decks when you look at the board, right? They, I mean, Kieran's got five creatures on board. Yes, we are long past the days of Azorius control with its wind bomb being. You know, I still can't get my head around this being a control deck when there are so many creatures and threats. Yes, it's not what it was. Although we we have got had a, a player join in the past few weeks, Helena, and she's been playing Azorius control, proper proper boomer control of okay. Paul from Tomorrow's and Sphinx's Revelations, and you absolutely love to see it in action because it just does nothing for turns and turns and turns, but you can't do anything either. So <laughs> Okay, so it, it it is still doable. It is still doable. It is it is probably. I mean, it is ob objectively weaker than this type of control because you just don't have threats, and if you just you know the, the efficiency on modern cards can just take so much away. So 
but you know it doesn't it just takes one you know sphinx of revelation resolve for eight or something yeah, yeah. which and then you're like oh i i i am dead yep. I, I don't know how to recover from that um by the yeah, way i mean we haven't mentioned it yet but this land this mana base on kieran's side of the board is a thing to behold <laughs> It's it's beautiful. <laughs> I I always find it funny because uh, so me and him have some quite similar decks. And this Jeskai Black Control is not a million miles away from my Esper Control, uh -huh. and it's hilarious because we basically have, with the exception of all, obviously the red cards, we basically have a lot of the same cards. But he doesn't like foils, and I like foils, so we right. have literally the exact same printing of almost every card, but minus foil or whatever Your, it can yours be. Yours is shiny. <laughs> yep. it's, 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 yeah, it's just it. It's, Hilarious! Like every time a new set comes out, we're both like, "Oh yeah, we're getting this this new Teferi that's a bird, right?" Oh yeah, hundred percent. Okay, good. Had we're in agreement. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's just that if 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 you open the uh, the non foil and Kieran opens the foil version, you just swap. <laughs> yes, I would probably be, be nice enough to give him a little bit of cash. <laughs> <laughs> yes. no, if he, if he if he values these non foils higher than the foils, that's that, his problem. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> He was trying. To, I was. I was playing Esper at the weekend when when this game was on. He was trying to be. He was at the end of it. He was just because um, Kieran was doing pretty well, and I was. I did fairly well, but not as well as Kieran this last weekend. And he was like, "Just make it Jeskai Black, mate. <laughs> just put some red in here. <laughs> we'll just we'll just end up with the exact same deck." Yeah. Week. What what you're missing is bolts and comet. <laughs> yeah. In essence, that seems to be the case. <laughs> I mean, but there are like other differences, like looking through his deck list from, I mean, I, I personally like White Plume is you have to be a, a very committed to the board, I think, to start to introduce things like the initiative and the monarchy to the game. Like that's still an iffy one for me in, in control decks, because if I play a White Plume Adventurer, make the initiative and you just, my opponent just kills it and attacks with like a, a tutu. Yeah, true. That I can't do it. I'm, I'm suddenly scrambling. Um, but that's, like... that's a card like that, that's definitely not going, going to go into Helena's deck, right? But it's going to go yes. into um, Kieran's deck yeah, where there's... there are quite a few creatures. Yeah, there's definitely a level of it. Um, just looking at a deck list, I mean, me and Kieran play exactly the same number of creatures. What's that? It... What's that number? Nineteen. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's uh, nineteen decent. Um, I play a few more walkers than he does. Um, because I'm obsessed with Jason Mind Sculpture and Teferi here of Dominaria, so even though I keep talking about the fact that you can't play Boomer Control anymore, I still Hero want to Dominaria shove four and five. Still, it's, still... <laughs> it's not quite the win con in a 100 card uh, format that it was in standard. No. And, uh, yeah, Nexus of Fate. Oh, that was that was rough. I, I adored Teferi here of Dominaria. It was, that was the last time I played standard, and when he went away, I was like, no, nah, I'm out now. I'm, oh, done. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. That was that was a deck that actually had no win condition, right? It was just. I'm just I mean, I was just playing Esper Control. If whenever I played Standard, I played Esper Control. Okay, if I was right. to. fair enough. So, <laughs> I do, I am not a fan of Nexus in that style of deck. Um, Back to this game, though. Yeah. It looks like <laughs> Hazel has unfortunately had to mulligan down to five. I think it was. Yeah. That's a rough one, and the removal spell for the birds. That's often on a mulch of five. You, yeah, you've got. If you have kept a mana dork on a on a five, you've put there's, a reasonable amount of stock in that. Five, yeah, so. exactly. And it's such a flavor fail to push a bird over. Like that's, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's terrible. It can just fly away. <laughs> Birds can't fall down like they fly off. Yeah, oh, it's, oh. it's not like it's not quite like striking it with lightning, right? That seems a little bit better than pushing, yeah. pushing it off a ledge. <laughs> Ooh, going for green black again. There must be some intensive mana requirements in Hazel's hand to not. I suppose to say there is only the one white card now, so maybe we just we're going all in and getting the screen black mana as good as it can be. But yeah, five's a rough spot to be in because if Kieran can just pick off a couple of key pieces, you know, you have to, you have to hope Kieran's kept a like maybe the hand that was a bit more. Reactive. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah, nice. This is a lovely way to even up Catch the score. Up. Yep. Yeah. At random. Yeah. Just takes Ooh. two of your lands or something. Kieran's got responses. Star. Ooh. I'm going to awesome discard world. these two instead, thank you very yeah, much. I, I will pick the two cards <laughs> I discard and pay one whole life for the privilege. But yeah, yeah so that's the thing. The randomness, you know, if, if Kieran had one land and a two drop or something, 
mm. and he was reliant on those, the him could just take them and he'd be out. Maybe it was this, maybe it was, you know, here's my second land drop and, and the counter if I need to keep me, keep me gassed up. Um, or maybe, you know, if maybe there was no land drop and a Lorien revealed or whatever, and you just, if yeah. you get it, there you go, you've just got no mana. So him is a really, really cool card. That random is really nice. But yeah, no third land. <laughs> That's not reasonable, Kieran. Your opponent has mulliganed to five. <laughs> that shouldn't be you cast arguably the best card ever made <laughs> that uh, well that's why it, uh, kieran just didn't want that one to be discarded at random yes that seems to be the, the reasonable reasonable shout by the way All i right. feel like it would be a crime not to mention the fact that we've talked about hazel's deck now being a pretty much golgari apart from a little a little bit of white and the image that i've chosen for the deck is a golgari white <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I feel like you did that on purpose. I did not do that on purpose, but I wanted to bring it up because I just noticed it. it. <laughs> and you've also like done the Golgari version of the only white card that is in there as well. So. <laughs> oh dear. The removal spell's good there. Throg obviously can get out of hand and I don't know if there's much blocking, but this is definitely a Again, the, the recall on a, on a multi five is you can feel this pulling away a little bit, but that's the power of just no black, right? It's just the, the more power level of the cards is good. Mm -hmm. Plenty of counter spells to try and protect itself. Is there much it's of a in downside in Camander generally to playing the four or five color piles? Like it, it seems like all like you've just got all the lands you want. Uh, Oh, so I don't, I don't think four, four is is not much of an issue. Okay. Um, five is rough. Five is pretty rough. So make sure you always have the mana you need at any given point. Um, five is pretty hard to do, okay. like consistently, unless you have like a theme where you can have certain lands that support that. Um, but four is quite straightforward. Um, you know, it, it's there's you know if you have what four of them that's. Seven dual lands, six dual lands, ten fetches, you know. Maybe a few triomes, or more likely than not, surveil, surveil lands now. A lot of them have even replaced triomes. Um, I suppose the answer, so, it depends, very much comes in. When we, we were talking about Hazel having so many utility lands that it probably does hurt her deck more than Kieran's. Yes, and she does have more restrictive mana cost. You know, you look at Vampire Hex Mage, which is black black. Right. And you look at you know green black here, and if you've got one that's white green, and it can just you know that, we just cast a him on two, right? So yes, exactly. Like black black on turn two is a rough one. Whereas if you, you know, a lot of these four color control decks, you know, as you can kind of see to a certain extent from Kieran's lands, are base blue. Yeah. Like um, I was, I was playing my deck at the weekend and. Oh, it's white plume. Hey. <laughs> yeah, um, and I was, I was trying, I was trying to, fe I was fetching off of a, you know, a black source, and I wanted to, and I was just discussing the lines of what I'd get with my opponent. And they're like, you know, you could get a godless shrine, and I was like, that's not an island. Why would I get that? That's just nonsensical. <laughs> because all you just, what you know, you, you want, want to be really heavy blue. blue. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think you in might, the previous you... game, Kieran's all of Kieran's um, dual awesome. lands were blue X. And yep. when Hazel went for the, um, the the wasteland, it was a case of which color would you like to choose that's not blue. Um, yes. Well, speak, speaking of, oh no, that's the strip mine. That's the strip mine. But it's say to wayfind is an important card. It just would have probably been good a few turns ago to try and build this up. There's been a lot of missed land drops for Hazel. The, her deck's not been coined for on a multi five. Um, and Kieran's just sat there being like, well, I'm not going to be, yeah. I'm not going to, no sympathy, no mercy. What are you going to do? <laughs> just, yeah, recall into a, the initiative. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to push a bird. I'm going <laughs> to, what, uh, what, how did we kill the mystic again? The otherworldly light, was it? Yeah, I'm just going to put oh recall back goodness. on Oh my goodness, Kieran, stop cheating. <laughs> I know, this, this is just, this is just cruel, really. Uh but that's why we put those cards in the deck, right? It's recall is always an interesting one because it, it can feel like such a waste of spend eight points on one card. But the games in which you draw that one card um, and you mean. abuse it, you know, like Kieran is doing here, is is just so hard for any anything to catch up with. Yeah, and this is a bit of a hail mary. Yeah, 
It was probably Hazel probably where that wasn't likely to resolve, but it's she's just in such a like, rough spot. Yeah. She has to hope. Yeah. What was the line there though? Was it so natural order for the Sator? I suppose there's not a win there, is there? It's, there's not a win there immediately, but you know if you get a prime time out, you can get the combo and yep. kind of hope that's enough. Um, although that probably you know with the dress down showing up there as well, there's a reasonable <laughs> chance that wouldn't have made a difference anyway. It's really, um, really showing off there from Kieran just to get the ancestral recall a little bit earlier than. <laughs> the whole, should we just be called yeah, third sure. time? Yeah, we'll just, yeah just we've do got, nothing but. We, we've got lethal on board, but we, we're going to play. <laughs> All ancestral I want to recall, do is treasure cruise. <laughs> what else are we going to play? I tell you what, if you cast Digsby time after this, I'm just I'm, I'm calling it on the counter <laughs> forty. It's just me. Yeah, we need. Oh, we're gonna draw from library. Okay. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh wow. Oh gosh, that's okay. As well. Both yeah, what well, we weren't find. finding prime time. <laughs> nope. <laughs> God knows what we were gonna get off of that in the end. Then what's? Honestly, that's everything. Natural order does green. That's a decent opening hand, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Birds into him into potential turn three natural order is definitely a way in which Hazel can win, and her deck was just horrible to her. Well, and Kieran had the, the one yes. runner removal for it all. But. Yeah, Kieran was horrible to her as well. That's perfectly yeah. feasible. feasible. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, thanks for joining. That was a fun one. No worries. Always a pleasure, mate. Thank you. Bye. Bye.